And what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs weekly update. Yes, last week was uh, quite interesting and very eventful. Uh, last week, we saw tech essentially gain some steam last week and hopefully being able to continue that this week. Although last week on Friday, just before close, uh, a lot of major big tech was sitting at support. And just before the close, it wanted to, to rip up and only be pulled right back down to support. Uh, so tomorrow night, I'm actually recording this on a Saturday evening. Uh, so tomorrow night when futures do open, will be interesting to see where we head from that point. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that Monday... Uh, is a holiday, so the market will be closed. Uh, so that being said, uh, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I must say, uh, quite excited to see everything starting to move, uh, not just tech, uh, but some value is also moving as well, uh, which is great to see. Everything is looking like it's slowly gaining, gaining strength. Now, we've come down uh, quite a bit uh, through a lot of support, uh, and so now all that support is now resistance. We are slowly chopping our way back up through this resistance, uh, but the bulls uh, seem to have great strength. Uh, even watching the charts uh, on a daily basis, uh, you can see the strength there. Uh, yes, we do have uh, news events anytime something about inflation comes out. It is uh, dropping uh, the markets essentially in preparation for data. Uh, this week will be no different. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this weekly, uh, essentially the economic calendar for this week. And something to keep in mind here. Uh, so the beginning of this week, again, Monday, uh, it's Memorial Day. Uh, so there will be the markets will be closed on Monday. Um, but we do have... Uh, beige book on Wednesday. We do have a lot of uh, the MSI manufacturing data. All this stuff is going to matter. Uh, employment report, uh, initial jobless claims, uh, productivity, uh, unit labor, all this stuff is is got a lot of eyes on it, uh, engaging inflation. And so that is something to keep in mind. So these reports, uh, I don't think they will heavily do anything to the market. Uh, we might get s a small spikes uh, in the market, uh, some more volatility in the market, depending what comes out in these reports. And this, there's something uh, dramatically different uh, that hasn't been seen or reported yet. Uh, our numbers, our estimates are completely off. I think we are going to be good for the most part until the, res the Federal Reserve comes back uh, towards the end of the month and has their meeting. Uh, if they do decide to taper at all from that uh, point, uh, especially if they start to talk about tapering or initiating any kind of tapering uh, in, within this year, which is something Powell has talked about uh, throughout, essentially, uh, you know, the past couple of sessions they've had, he said it's there's nowhere uh, close that it would happen in this year that would be more than likely next year uh, for inflation uh, for them to really start tapering uh, just uh, because they want to essentially aim uh, for the lower class to be able to get ahead and not be left behind so being said it's it's really um what is the federal reserve going to do from this point are they going to actually take action and be able to um go by by the words of, of mr powell here and and not be start really tapering until next year again it's all gauge on how the economy recovers the economy is actually doing very well everything's opening up i know even where i live a lot of stuff is just opening uh, opening to the masses right and next month in june there is going to be a mass opening there's going to be a mad flood to the market uh that people are going to go out and start spending money um so being said, uh, all that stuff, uh, we're going to get initial numbers. I think are going to be um, show inflation. This is something that Powell's talked about. This is something that uh, Kathy Wood has talked about. Uh, but it's going to adjust itself. And I think people are, are, are just preparing for that. But I think we are still very much in a bull market. Uh, we're very much uh, just in the slow melt up and chop market. Every time we, again, come across any kind of uh, federal 
uh, Federal Reserve talking, we do tend to chop quite a bit during that week leading into those uh, conversations uh, about inflation again. And again, when we do, if there is actually implementation of tapering at that point, I, I think there's going to be a correction at that point. Uh, whether that's this year or next year, whenever they actually do actually decide to take action on this and not just to talk about it, or when they say, okay, I'll buy this particular month, okay, we're going to start taking action, we're going to start tapering, uh, you'll start to see that uh, affect the market at that point. Uh, so that is something to be aware of. But ultimately, in the overall haul, if you are investing, uh, now is, is one of the greatest times. Again, don't uh, slam everything in there. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't slam everything into the market all at one time. Uh, I think it's good to be slowly uh, you know, buying those good, wholesome uh, industry leader names that are going to last for five to 10 years. Uh, again, now is the best time to do that. Uh, but uh, with that being said, Again, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull up. We are going to go ahead and let's see, pull up the charts here, show what we got going on for the week. All right. So for this uh, week, what do we got exactly going on here? Let me go ahead and pop this up. There we go. And we, we are full screen uh, spy again. It's it's been struggling uh, through this particular part to break out. Uh, we did break above the initial resistance that we had. Now we're we're kind of using it as a floor at this point. Uh, we really don't want it to break down. If it does, uh, I would expect it to play range. It has been kind of playing range back and forth here. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. It's not a lower, uh, higher low at this point. I think we're still trying to. I think we're going to hit that all time high. Uh, here shortly before we actually uh, do correct back down. Uh, again, uh, we're going to have this up and down, up and down, chop slowly, melt up kind of uh, action going on. And again, I think we'll hit all time highs before we have another uh, kind of correction like this. Uh, leading up, I think we got a couple of weeks. So a couple of weeks, I think we would grind up to all time highs, uh, have that Federal Reserve meeting, and then we'll start uh, getting some of these, these drops like this uh, in concern of inflation. And if, especially if there's any more uh, tapering talks, I know there are, is tapering talks, but just be aware of that. Um, so ultimately, I think that's where we're at. Again, we did uh, have this slam down in on Friday. It's like everybody pulled the money out. It is a long weekend. It's normal. You normally typical see, typically see this, uh, this dramatic move uh, normally throughout the day on Friday. But we actually started running uh, quite a bit in the morning, and then we kind of just really fell off uh, towards the end of the day. Uh, QQQ. It's building a solid base here. Now, this is actually, in my mind, really bullish. If it doesn't break below this 332, uh, tech is going to have a huge run, in my opinion. And looking at all, all this consolidation that's been going on here over the past week, um, in my mind, is is a very uh, bullish sign. I do like that a lot. Um, again, it could be waiting on numbers. Um, one bad report, I think, could sink tech uh, pretty quick, especially when going into tapering. Uh, just be aware that tech will be one of the first ones to be hit. So you know, normally that has been led by Tesla. That's why I, uh, for the watch list and stuff, I normally have uh, Tesla as number one. And because if there's any kind of inflation stuff, normally you see that quickly in Tesla and in the drops uh, happen uh, very quickly. Now, as far as the week ahead, uh, this is my watch list. Uh, again, Tesla, uh, Peloton, uh, Vips, and we got Roku and Fubu on the list this week. Uh, I think ultimately a lot of stuff was kind of left in the middle. You do have Apple and Facebook, although I do feel like Facebook is getting pretty high at this point. I think Facebook will see a little bit of a correction, uh, allowing some of the other tier two and Tesla and Apple. Apple's got, kind of been lagging this past week as well. There's some bad news that came out about Apple. There was a price target drop on Friday uh, down to $90, which I thought was ridiculous. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Apple fell a little bit, but still held its ground. So I think um, it might get a little bit of a rotation. Uh, Facebook might stall out a little bit. You might see some other money again and a lot of second tier and Tesla uh, going into the coming weeks. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull up Tesla. I am in uh, Tesla uh, calls actually on Friday. 
I, I was upset because I was I was going to grab it here, but I didn't I didn't like the fact that it was holding that line, and it wanted to give out. Um, actually had a beautiful run right in close to close, and then that last hour of the candle dropped it. Um, and I actually picked up, that's when I picked up my calls uh, towards the end of the day at that last hour of candle. I think it was the last 10 minutes, actually. Uh, I, I grabbed some Tesla calls. There's space here. Where is a trend line here? I've been watching and trend line down below. Although we've been running tight. Uh, Tesla's really been wanting to go, and you can see that the, the influx of money, especially when it's it's been floating around this $25 mark, $625 mark. Um, it, it was hard to break through that, but we did break through that, and now we're holding, which was something I really liked. Uh, so that's why I took calls in this uh, for the weekend. Um, but ultimately, I, I am out of shares. I did sell out my shares. Uh, the thing is, is with this, I wanted to wait for the long weekend. Uh, typically with shares, I like to kind of see stuff base out. Right now, stuff is starting to push back up, and I'm, I'm kind of trying to see how everything is adjusting to everything. Uh, but ultimately, um, Tesla looks good. Even on the daily, uh, we're starting to break out of a lot of different resistance here. Uh, we're still going to be a little bit bumpy. But I think once we break that uh, 652, I think we're really going to see some ripping there. Um, I'm going to try to add here at this particular position. If we hold around the 625 mark, as long as we don't break below that, uh, I definitely want to add or possibly even wait for this uh, the 655 mark break. Once it gets above uh, this 20 on the daily, uh, I definitely want to load the boat at that point because I think at that point we're going to go and try to retest all-time highs. Um, if and before, um, you know, we can gain momentum before any kind of Fed news that does come out because if there's a Fed news, I'm sure we'll correct and head back down again. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Uh, Piton is the other one, Peloton. Peloton, I actually, I was kind of upset because I got tagged out in this one. I did grab it down here on um, Thursday, and then we pushed up, and then it really kind of settled. And then that last push towards the end of the day tagged me out of a lot of stuff. It tagged me out of Airbnb too, which kind of upset me because uh, I had a pretty, a pretty decent um, trailing stop on that, and it still uh, managed to tag me out. So. Uh, nonetheless, um, so took pro took a lot of profit on Friday is essentially what happened. Uh, I tagged out of Dollar Tree was another position I had and a couple other ones that I was playing. I was playing cannabis stock as well. I was upset that that tagged me out in the morning. Uh, there was stop hunt in the morning. I tagged everybody out and then uh, jumped up a whole other uh, 20 cents from that point. So, uh, so Piton is the other one I got. Uh, I want to actually see this down here the 106 mark if we do get any kind of correction come on our tuesday morning uh, i'm looking for entry there on piton I, I prefer it because it's actually resting against the 20 and the 50 here uh, and you're also getting that 20 coming back up in the uh, middle bollinger band coming back up too is something else i like uh, i could see another good run here um for a couple of dollars at least up until we hit that uh 136 yeah there's resistance along the way uh, but it's pretty clean all the way up in my opinion Vips is the other one I have for this week. Uh, the nice thing I like about this is it's broken out of this wedge. Uh, ultimately, I want to make sure that uh, the hourly or the daily candle come Tuesday is uh, is not below this and actually above this. But it looks like it is trying to break out. Uh, Vips, they can make uh, some good solid ground. It's the third leading uh, e-commerce for uh, China, I believe, is what it is. Uh, so I think. Um, you know, we're going to start, especially with the holidays or coming in the summer months and stuff. I think um, you're going to start seeing a lot more spending and stuff. People are going to start loosening up their wallets a little bit more, I think. And I think that would be a good play for that. Roku is one other one I got. I was actually debating between this and uh, Netflix. I think Netflix did pop on Friday. Uh, but I do like this setup better. It actually just broke out of the wedge. We were retesting. We're above all the EMAs which is actually something that looks fantastic. Uh, I actually might take shares and calls in this uh, and, and next coming on Tuesday uh, just because of the daily setup is, is beautiful in my mind. Uh, but ultimately, we, we don't want it to really break. Uh, on the hourly, I really don't want it to break below the 200. Um, and so my stop, if I start getting any shares in this and, and or calls, uh, is to really watch this uh, 335 mark. I don't want it to break below that. Uh, break below that, I think... Um, you know, we might do some more selling. So that's something to keep in mind. But I do really like uh, Roku in the coming weeks. Even uh, even though people might be out and spending money and doing other things and getting out like Airbnb and stuff, 
I still think um, Roku's uh, got a place in all that. And um, I think it's about ready to make one of its epic runs here soon. So, uh, And then the other one I got for you guys is one I particularly haven't traded yet. It's a Fubo. Uh, I, on this particular one, I know I had a FOBO on a watch list, so I do apologize for that. Uh, but uh, on the daily, this actually looks gorgeous right now. And so that, that's what I'm looking at is for stuff that is starting to break back over because a lot of stuff's been so beaten down is breaking out of the wedge and we are retesting. So I do really like that. Again, it's all the support. This is why I love to see. This is where I like to hammer it hard uh, in shares or uh, in calls and and write it out to, I mean, we at least got to the, the 338 mark essentially before that's uh, get some resistance there. Uh, obviously, you'll get some little uh, speed bumps along the way, uh, but I think that's where the next uh, major resistance is at that point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got. That's what I got for the weekly updates. Uh, again, there's a lot of good setups. Uh, I want to see how futures open on Monday. Uh, my plan will change more than likely. It does always change overnight. So what happens in the overnight session, uh, sometimes we get that candle that uh, pops back underneath the EMAs and I won't take it from that point. Uh, again, I try to find stuff that is based well and is under uh, a lot of a lot of strong support. Uh, that's why I look at the daily and then I go down in the hourly and look where that 200 EMA is as well to try to gauge where it's at and then um, take position from there. So I don't want to make this too long, but remember to hit the like button before you guys head out if you watched it this far. Till next time, guys, I will see you guys later.